Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the boat. Welcome back. Welcome back to the boat. We've been on this boat for a long time. We have. This playthrough has been going for like ever. I guess there was there were some pretty long gaps. Yeah, there were. We've been in Spirit Fair in some capacity for like two years now. <laughs> wow, that does feel like a really long time. Right? Are we slow at games? Uh, well, I mean, it's hard not to be when you only play them once a week for an hour or so. Okay, when they're I long guess that does make sense. And also yeah. when you stop playing for about a year and a half for them to finish releasing everything yeah, else. Yeah, that also makes sense, there's, I suppose. There's lots of good reasons we're taking a long time on this one, <laughs> including the probably best reason, it's a good game worth finishing. It's a really good game, and we're finishing it. Speaking of finishing and doing things, we need to um, figure out what we're going to do. I'm there's going to practice my jumps. Good jumps and bounces, very good. Um, so, okay, I'm going to find out whether Sandwich Walk, Oxbury Shrine, that, or Overbrook are closest. Let's see. What was that? Uh, just coordinates. It was, I think, I want to say it was like minus 40, 50. Uh, I think, well, no, I don't remember what they were, so. It was 40 and a 50. I just can't remember which was. Yeah, the minuses and the not minuses are the important parts there. They are, but it's going to be ballpark-ish around here-ish. And we are, where are we? Boat, where are we? We're always so small, it's hard to find us. Mm. Like, the symbol for us is I've not lost as visual as I would have thought it would be. <laughs> well, just click anywhere, and we'll see the line draw. Right? Oh, here we are. Here we are, here we are. Found us. Okay. okay. We're very near to... Uh, Gray Mist for Jackie. The, yeah. Uh, Overbrook. So, Overbrook. Uh -huh. I guess let's just go check in. <laughs> Overbrook for Jackie, not Since, Gray Mist uh, for Jackie. Since we're in trouble there. Yeah. I guess. Oh, right. I heard a ding as we were starting up. Oh, yes. How goes the whole food adventure? Um, not great. No. Having some real trouble remembering which button to hit to open there you doors. Go. <laughs> I was just jumping at the doors, <laughs> forgetting how to get in. Uh, that should be. Salads. Yeah, that's the green salads that are that are a new recipe that we had just learned. Right, yes, of course. Hmm. Grilled veggies and heat-treated crab? That's such a weird... Heat-treated? Yeah, heat-treated crab. It's a lot of syllables that could be easily replaced, I think, by cooked. But... <laughs> or hot. <laughs> hot crab. Hot crab. <laughs> Time for hot crab. I feel like this color combo, while fun, I've liked some of these others better. I'm going to do... Hmm. Sunday's outfit. Here we go. Nice. Blues and yellows. Yeah. I'm really... I'm really at the end of my guesses with these silhouettes. Alex! It's the Alex song! I don't know. I'll be honest. I have no idea how you are going to figure out the rest of that food. There's still a soup left. That is some unsolvable food if ever I saw it. I think a soup. Hmm. Well, I guess we just keep looking for things that don't sound familiar. Yep. In the worst case, all the foods you end up remaking will go to making sure our guests don't starve. That's true. That is important. Not starving the guests is True. a good thing. Maybe we should ring the bell. Is everyone up? Where is everybody? I thought that they were kind of handling themselves by this point. I guess they kind of were. Just kind of realized I don't see anybody? I guess it's raining. Maybe you're all in your rooms. Then you. Boat guests. Hi, Gwibby. Do you want to sit on my lap? I guess <laughs> so. Hi. Yeah, that's fine. Gwenny is here. <laughs> Gwenny is here. The bell has been rung. Gwenny showed up for the bell. Guests. And she just flopped on my lap very well. Yep, she is. Settled right in. Practiced in the art. Um, still no guests? Everyone. Guess we can check their rooms. Buckaford. Oh, there you are. Buckley. Oh, all fed. That's good. I give you hug. Oh. Okay, I don't give you hug. I don't give you food. Goodbye, Buck. I guess no one's complaining because they're all full. And I think we Is that might... really enough for Elena to not complain? I suppose so. She's out and about somewhere. Somewhere. 
Huh. Oh, maybe she's here. Maybe she's here at the hospital. That would be hmm. odd. Yeah. I don't think she'd be an improvement. Yeah, I'm not sure that anyone here will want to deal with that. No. <laughs> Jackie and Elena together. I feel like people here have enough <laughs> to deal with. I feel like Jackie would end up like really, really passive-aggressively angry at her. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Jackie would not be happy. They would. Oh no. They would not. Um. Oh, there you are. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. It, I, I'm not very good with doors yet. Yeah, those Still two would learning. not get along well. What the shit oh are y'all looking at, huh? I didn't do nothing wrong, all right? It was that gosh darn psycho nutcase up there. She just lashed out at me. She's a lunatic. I've said it for years. We should just pump her full of pills and be done with it. Jackie. No answer, huh? That's what I thought. Bunch of freaking losers. Huh? What? Oh, you're there. Final freaking Lee. And what took you so long? Were you checking out the birds and the pretty clouds on the way here? Well, I could have used your help for once. Oh, you want to know what happened, don't you? Well, I'll tell you what happened. You happened. The music's having a little difficulty right now. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. It's like... I told you that she was unstable. I told, that she told you she needed to be left alone. But no, I couldn't leave it to the professionals. Little Miss Perfect just has to stick her nose in everyone's business. You asked us here it's true. so many times. Mm -hmm. She was already crazy to begin with, and then you give her that psycho instrument? Made with glass and sharp steel? Are you out of your goddamn mind? So yeah, I go in, and I try to take it from her, and then... And then... Whatever. This job's not about you, Stella. It's not about feeling good. It's about safety. It's about keeping us safe from these morons. And keeping them safe from themselves. What? Calm down! You calm down! I swear this freaking place. I can't take it anymore. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I won't take it anymore. Cause I quit. Ha! You can all go to hell. And you, have fun taking care of these idiots. So long, shit stain. And don't bother calling, I won't answer. You called us. Every time. So many times. Um, yes. If you don't want to be here anymore, fine. We don't want you! <laughs> We're gonna put this hospital on a boat <laughs> like and it take it wherever we want. <laughs> yeah! And you can't stop us. I heard all of that. That Who order elite, Jackie. He's always been a loose cannon, but he's gone too far this time. Things are really bad out here. He's the worst thing to happen to Overbrook since mandatory nighttime slop. Can't believe what he did to Daria. She's usually so quiet. She keeps to herself. Mm -hmm. She only had one thing, her music. And, well, she fought to protect it. Mm -hmm. What a mess. This place has really fallen on some hard times. We need better living conditions. Mm -hmm. We need fresh meals. We need proper medical care. We're here to be cured, not forgotten or ill-treated. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. I'm not waiting on the staff, not even on management. I'm taking matters into my own hands. How? Please explain how before we let you go. I'm uh, with you, comrade. We shall do this. Yes, but I really do need an explanation for what that means. No! But I'm going to need some help. No explanation needed. <laughs> possibly, Victory! Possibly by someone with a boat and people skills. Oh, okay. What do you say? You don't need to answer. I just know you're already in. All right, let's start. Here's a list of potential candidates. You'll need to find capable people. We can't have this situation happening again. I'm counting on I'm you. I'm capable. I do I'm have a I'm very capable. I'm right here. I'm ready to fight the system. Yes. A very capable yes. cat. I don't know how the cat will do with like medical care, but enthusiasm the cat has in spades. And also cooking skills, which it does seem like are also needed here. I I really want to quote Rage Against the Machine song, but I can't because <laughs> like it wouldn't be channel friendly and so daffodils just run around like, heck you, I won't do it. You tell me. <laughs> cat swears it really just hisses at the end of the day anyhow, so <laughs> You, I won't do it, you tell me. There you there. go. So what? Um, it's not really a quest, is it? I, I guess, guess there's shenanigans? Recruit Arm and a chef. leg. Talk to the foreman. Record a gardener. I guess those are things we can do. Oh, these are people here in, here on the island still. That we uh, can talk I, I to, right? Well, I think they're... Uh... Oh, the gardener. The gardener's the one at at um, Gwen's old place. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's one at Hoseki Quarry, one at South Point Docks, one at uh, Via Maggiore. Yeah. 
Can okay. we reach Daria? Maybe we should check with Daria. Oh, that's a good point. We jumped all the way down. Yeah. Because I... I was all, you know, <laughs> viva la revolution. <laughs> and... I also forgot. <laughs> you were somehow distracted by somehow. my shenanigans. Mm. There we go. Okay. The ladders are so hard to see. You know, I guess this would be easier outside. We can't do it outside. We uh, have to go the long way if we go outside. We have to go the long way anyhow. But the ladders. Do they go further up? Past there? Maybe they do. I don't remember. My goodness. We've played this game so long and I don't remember. No, no think... you're figuring it out. Yeah. There I you think go. We're good. Ha! Did it. Eh. Got there. Hello. Want to talk? No. How about to me? Don't want to talk. Talk to me. Please. Let us feed you. No. Okay. All right, then. We'll check in later. Stay safe? Dry? Yes. Happy? All three. Or at least content. So you think Jackie is going to be at the boat waiting for us? Might be at the boat, actually. Or do you think... I don't know how else he's leaving. Eh, where are we? We're on top of the electrical place. Ah, so yes. So the boat's back this way. Too far. Nope, not here. There we go. I do not know where Jackie went. Maybe on the big boat. Jackie, you here? I don't think Jackie wants anything to do with us. I suppose not. Good swimmer, I guess. Pancakes! Pancakes! You made a pancake. Hmm. All right, well, I'm setting another destination. Okay. Better than this one. Better than this one. Let's see. Uh, I guess one of our little missions is... Uh, is at South Point Docks, and that's pretty close, so we can do that. Yeah. Uh, for our next main one, though, 40 minus 50, okay. Uh, sandwich Walk and Oxbury Shrine. Let me... Let me find all those things. Oxbury is... It's in this... Here we there, go. Okay, yep. so Oxbury... Yeah, we should have Oxbury first. Yeah. Uh, sandwich, sandwich Walk. walk. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's just do those two, and uh, we'll hit up South Point... We can Somewhere do, in the mix. <laughs> yeah, Oxbury South Point sandwich. Yeah. Cool. I like it. It is a plan. Hi, Lily. It is a plan. <laughs> Tea. And... This is good timing, because we're getting to Oxbury at night, which is when we need to get there. Oh, hey! For the Lily event. It's almost like you planned that. Hmm. I guess there's really nothing else that goes with tea, huh? Okay. Oh, right, it's not a beverage, it's a... There's a soup of some kind I haven't figured out yet. I am curious. How will it feel if we do finish the game before you have managed to find every food? Bad. Because <laughs> it is a possibility. <laughs> that would feel bad. Yeah. I would not like that very much. Mm -hmm. I don't want that to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potato and fire glow, did we do that? Is that chips? Is, Is that, that hot and spicy chips? Maybe? I don't remember. We're finding out. Let's do it. For lack of anything better. Cheese! It's cheese, gourmet. <laughs> if you say it's cheese, you have to say it like that. Yeah, there's not a lot of other... Not a lot of other good voices for saying it's cheese. Alright, we're here. Alright. I will not bother planting. Yeah, when we get back, just gonna make sure we do it at night. Wanna see the Lily slideshow. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the Lily slideshow of one that Lily talks about. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't prepare a very long slideshow, but she has lots to say. I mean, there are usually a couple pictures, aren't there? I thought that was usually just the one. Maybe. And maybe she looks at more of them. <laughs> it just doesn't hmm. share. I don't remember. Where's my dash button? It's one of these. 
Eh, oh my dash. gosh, how have we forgotten how to dash? Oh, it's the right bumper, right? Left bumper. One of the there bumpers. There we go, there we go. Found it, okay. Which yes. one is it? It is oh, left, never mind. Yeah, left trigger, got it. yeah. I got it. <laughs> it was weirding Dang. me out, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying them all. All of them. Ooh. Yes. That's your first Montreal apartment, isn't it? When you moved out of the house to the big city? My big sister striking out on her own. Yeah, that place was such a dump. Sorry, sis. It was. You could decorate it all you wanted. It would always smell whatever you were neighbors were cooking. Laksa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you could hear them yelling at each other. Your rent was probably so cheap. Plus, you were all alone. No roommates. Well, not quite alone with Daffodil. Speaking of which, I'm still mad at you for taking the family cat. I don't remember us talking that much during that time. You were busy with work. I was still in high school, not paying much attention. I don't think we had much in common. Except death, maybe. For me, after Dad, all I had to do, or I had to do something about it. I was trying to shut it out, but it kept coming anyways. I don't know how you can deal with it constantly. Working at the hospital with people at the end of their lives? Around you, all the time? Helping those people who are suffering in front of your eyes. There was Summer. She did not go quick. That cancer stayed inside her and took its time. It even gave her some hope. But it came back harsher. Mom was devastated. It's probably for the best that Rose wasn't around to see it. Rose was so kind-spirited and fragile. Losing her dear Summer would have broken her heart. I remember going to Summer's house with Mom. All those plants and that heat... It was like a sauna. She said something about the body being like all living things, especially plants. I just remember being mad and sweating a lot. Then there were the friends you made along the way. That Giovanni and his wife Astrid. To hear you talk about them, they were basically your adoptive grandparents. I was wondering... Because that is sort of the energy that Giovanni had about yeah. him talking with us. And the stories that would come out of their mouths. The cheating, the lies, the heartbreak. All those headaches. Can you imagine what Giovanni put Astrid through? But she was right at his side at the end. Even if she had moved on. Even if she'd found someone else. He was her one and only Gio forever. They both knew that they only had each other in the end. That's how I want to go out, sis. Holding the hand of the one I adore. I think I need a refill. Maybe stretch my legs a bit. I'll be back in a minute. Don't you go anywhere. We have to. We've got a lot of chores on our boat. <laughs> We do. But see, they do show us different pictures. You're right. They did. Ha. I appreciate that they are filling in some yeah. gaps Say a little more explicitly. Say it again. Just the first part. I already forgot what I said the first time. Are you it, kidding me? I've had a long recording day. <laughs> Come on. Say I'm right again. Oh, you're right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. The cat is correct. <laughs> the cat is always correct. Sometimes. Always. Always, sometimes correct. Always, sometimes correct. <laughs> hmm, all right. Well, let's go to South Point Docks and look for someone to work at this hospital. Whether they like it or not. <laughs> we'll see if we can convince anyone to leave the union there for a job in healthcare. Yeah. Thank you for all the stories, Lily. We really like them. 
Oh, right. I was going to plant. Plant. Got a lot of quiet mm. guests on this boat. Yeah. Buck isn't too noisy. I guess it's all weird after having Bruce and Mickey around bullying everybody. Yeah. It all feels too quiet after them. And easy to spot them anywhere they are on the boat just mm -hmm. from their size. They had a big presence. That they did. And we were so busy for a while there. There were so many people. Sure is pretty. Yeah. Run away. Yeah, I was <laughs> trying to run away from you. Oh, oh, oh it's tag, is it? Oh, never mind. It was it's crates. tag, but it, it's crates now. Now it's crates. <laughs> it's a crate time for tag. The game has changed. Yes. Where are the crates? The cratiest of crates. Ah, Did we have out too soon? Oh, nope. Diving time. Mm. Perfect. We got him. Sugar cane seed. Wait, no, we've had that already. What am I saying? That's something new. We've had a lot of things. We have had a lot of things. Well, Easy great to job. Forget. Why, thank you. Mm. Tag, you're it. Ah, tag, huh? All right, fine. No, we do have a no, pretty big no, 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 no. tagging course on this boat now. <laughs> no, stay away, no. 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 <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> this was your idea. No! Tag. Dang it. Good run, though. You made like a whole lap around the boat. <laughs> Tag. Hey. <laughs> I'm on base. <laughs> That's a good base. Also kind of hard to get to mid-sailing. You have to like loop around. Yeah, I did a fancy trick. Yeah. I didn't realize I was being fancy, but <laughs> I did it. Let's see what this came out as. Alu Gobi. Yep, cool. that's right. Oh, do we, yeah, I'd that's forgotten right. we did what it was, one. but yep, that's. We did make that. <laughs> and now I want that. Right? That's an omelet. <laughs> I really don't want to just give up and look up the things. Like, I really don't want to. Yeah, oh yeah. No, I can definitely understand that. And I don't think you need to right now. Cheese and rice flour. Rice flour is often noodles? Maybe that's be like a craft dinner. <laughs> Could be. That'd be pretty great. I guess craft is a brand, so probably not that, Mac but, and cheese, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still, though. Same diff. I could buy that. Uh, you could, yes. They sell it at the store. You could, yes. So which specifically are we looking for for this one? It's uh, the foreman. Right. He's in that... Urf. Nope. Boing. <laughs> ah! I'm a bit busy right now, miss. Uh, one of my guys got his hands cut off <gasps> yesterday. Yeah, I know. Oh. It's quite a bit of paperwork. If Mike wants his hospital bills paid, he needs to sign this thing from the corporate office. It's a pretty boilerplate legal stuff. Saying Mike wants to if they pay his medical bills. Anyway, the doctors are reattaching his hands right now, so he'll be able to sign it soon enough. I know. I know, apparently doctors can do that. What was the name of his doctor again? I don't remember his name, but I know where he lives. Why? Because he kept saying it over and over. He was very proud of his penthouse in Old Central District. It was weird. It was, I was in the operating room as a representative of the company. Mm -hmm. The doctor kept talking about his hot tub and his million dollar watch, oh. reminding us that he was the best doctor in the whole wide world. All that while reattaching Mike's two hands. It was pretty wild. Oh. I was just thinking, can you stop talking and concentrate on reattaching my buddy's <laughs> hands? <laughs> anyway, Mike's going to be okay. He'll be back at work soon. Oh. The company only offers five sick oh. days a year, and he already took a couple to take care of his daughter. Hands or no hands, Mike will be in tomorrow. Oh. What? And I guess his doctor will be in penthouse in Old Central District. What an odd world. <laughs> what an odd world, indeed. Jeez. One, how do we know the doctor got the hands on the right 
arm. Hmm. Two, maybe, maybe Mike got lucky and the doctor left his million dollar watch inside the operating table or something. Like, like, like maybe he accidentally attached his watch to Mike and now wa- Mike owns a million dollar watch. Also possible. That'd be pretty great, right? A third possibility is that this place might need more union. <laughs> Definitely needs more union. Still has some issues, it seems yeah, like. Definitely still needs more union. A little bit. I think the the dude we're looking for is up here in the house, right? Maybe so. I thought, I thought for some reason that this it was this guy actually that we just talked to, but maybe not. Maybe let's no, let's that, double check this in case. That was because that was a, related to hospital things. It was, but Arr. there's a little shipping container that the isn't this the place where we where we met Astrid first? Yes. Yeah, there's supposed to be a shipping container with a door in it that we go inside, or that he was locked in, remember? And he was going to pee in the corner? Yeah, I believe so. Well, maybe this isn't the same spot, actually. Uh, Because I don't remember all of this structure up here. Yeah, I don't either. Have we not been here? Is it, does it just look different here, I think, now? But I think it might be a different place, possibly. I don't understand what you're saying. We've been here, but it's I don't a think this is the place, place that had that Astrid was at. I'm just okay. starting to think. I think it's just a similar looking place, perhaps. I may be wrong, but I uh it does seem no, a bit this... different. I don't know. I'm very confused. I thought that this was where we've met her. Well, I'll check the quest because that'll tell us right away whether or not that was the person. Uh Okay, so now we're looking for... So we did find that guy. That was the guy. But now we need the doctor at the old central district. Okay. Weird. But okay. All right. I'm not on board yet, but I'm on board. <laughs> now you're on board. Not quite. Or, I soon, or you soon will be. Almost there. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Craft dinner. Cheese uh, sticks. Delicious. Pretty close. Not what I expected, and not a new recipe. Uh. So I guess I've forgotten making them. It was Old Central, right? Sorry. Yes, space. it was Old Central. Okay, perfect. Good. Wasn't where I was planning to take us, but it is right here. On the way. So we might as well. Might as well. Any of y'all need food? Yeah, does anybody need food? And if so, what food? And and tell me. Hey, ring the bell, and that'll force them to come any, out. Any food you would like, so I can make it. Buck, I've caught you. Eat food. Buckley. Buckums. Seriously, where does she hide? Here. All right, we have not found your food of choice yet. Some commenter mentioned because he eats pizza when we give him any food. Could be. That maybe that's what he would like? That is possible. Granted, like, lots of folks... Usually the thing they're eating isn't necessarily what their favorite food is. Well, it's hard to tell. No, no, Jackie's definitely not eating chili quiles. Right. <laughs> uh, hmm. No hugging. I remember. See, I remember. He really liked comfort food. Have we tried old-fashioned? Have we tried... Maybe we haven't tried old-fashioned yet. Uh... There's old fashioned. There's an old fashioned. Have a honey ham. Just have a whole ham. Oh, blessed be the stars. I salute your inside, Commander. You astutely guessed that my heart would be brimming with the joy at the sight of an old, good old fashioned meal. An ancestral delight of epic resonance. Many thanks. May the lords of Wairon accompany you on your path. I guess. Oh, sorry, I spit on you a bit. Maybe we should have figured he'd like old fashioned with like high fantasy being very like. That does make some medieval sense. Medieval European based. Yeah, when I think of it that way, like when, when I when I think of old fashioned food, my brain thinks back to like okay, like the from my grandmother's era or something. Yeah, I but, think of like the forties and fifties. Yeah, not but like... there's, t- I guess there's older food than that, technically. But no, people didn't eat food before nineteen fifty. So I guess his favorite food's going to be within, I'm guessing, one of those two categories: comfort and, and or old fashioned. I would, I would guess. So yeah. we'll have to check there. That at least we've narrowed it down. That helps. Right. I've tried breakfast now on um, on Elena, and that did. She was nothing. It, it was just whatever. I am starting to wonder if there's just no favorite food on that. Uh, there's probably still a favorite food, but everything is just sort of like a. It's fine. I kind of think I'm gonna have to try her on the nutritional slop. I yeah. I just want to see what'll happen. We've also got a questionable meal we could try with her, but she would feed it to literally anyone else.
She would. To build character. Mm-hmm. And she does okay. want us to learn from her. We're looking for a doctor at the top of a penthouse. Right. Doctor in a penthouse. Okay. You're and right. we've been to the top of some of these buildings. We it's have. taken us a lot to get yeah, there. Took great pains. <laughs> and got very few rewards for mm. our great pains. Is there a doctor in the house? Which house is there a doctor in, more specifically? Yeah, that would help to narrow it down. Hello. They'll probably have a text bubble as soon as they're in sight, which should help at least. I'm not... Oh, there I am. And that's the highest say, I can get sure on the inside I'm of the building. All right. And we can't go outside this building, can we? Nope. Okay. Come on, down the ladders, down the floors. Let me out, let me out, let me out. I saw my tail, let me out, <laughs> let me out. There. Good golly. Something tells me it's gonna are be you, that building over to the left there. Are you indoors right Yeah, now? indoors and just climbing up to see if I see any text and I'm seeing nothing. <laughs> me. Dropping down now. Okay. Or trying to, unless I'm outside. Where am I? Oh dear. I think you're indoors. Aren't you? Probably. Uh, yeah, you're inside that building. So just come downstairs. Usually. Ah, there we go. Finally. Yeah, got no, a glimpse of myself. It's usually easy, but when you can't see yourself anywhere. There we go. Okay. So I think we can jump on like some trash can or something and then take the outside yeah. air conditioners up. Yes. There we go. I say, like, it's actually easy to do this stuff. Boing. For me. There you are. Yeah. Whoosh. Is it you? Yeah. Bing. Ah. There we and go. Then are you them? Hey. Up. Penthouse. Later. Nope. All right. Penthouse. I think we still might have to that's go up probably, the outside. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Gonna have to do this, a couple of jumps. This will be either the penthouse or that club that Mike, that Bruce and Mickey. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> there you go. No! Ah, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why? You got everything right but the direction. Why? Okay. <laughs> you didn't have to come back down. Uh, it was, it was going to be a lot harder for you to do jumps yeah, without being able to harder, see. Yeah, a lot harder, but I was going to try. I was gonna do my best. Yeah. Yeah. Be right there. Hang on. Yeah. At least, yeah. at least when the dash is, you know, doing us proper, um, it does make things a little bit easier. It sure do, most of the time. Up. Out. 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 Yep. Gonna let you go first. Uh, yeah. yeah, just floating seems to work pretty good. That also works. Perfect. Hooray! Okay. Please be the place with the person. There we go. Stop right there. Wait. What? You're looking for a doctor? Well, look no further. You found him. You found me. I'm a world-renowned hand surgeon. I've been on talk shows. I've been on rec I've been recognized in malls. Wow. I own a 600-gallon hot tub. Always tropical and ready for when this doctor comes home. After a hard day of doing what surgeons do, I need to relax my hands in warm, bubbling water. That is the life of this prestigious doctor. <laughs> I'm known for my impeccable surgery skills and for being punctual. I'm always on time because of this watch. It costs so much money, I don't want to say. It's encrusted <laughs> with rare diamonds. It's a triple retrograde uh, uh, tourbillon. Tourbillon. Don't know the word. Well, I can see I lost oh. you there. I bought it as a gift for myself after my fourth marriage. Now, back to you. You need a doctor? For Overbrook? I thought that place closed down. And it's so far away. Why would I ever work in a place like that? For money. <laughs> I do it for more money. No one ever says no to more money. I just <laughs> love buying myself new things. When I'm not at work, I shower myself with expensive gifts. Such is my nature. I would consider it for... Hmm... 10,000 glims. Up front. No bi-weekly payments. Glims only. A one-time off. Deal? Well, well. I can hear the money sloshing around in your pockets. Fork it over if you still want me to work with that awful overbrook. Oh. All right? 
Yes. I don't want to doctor it over Book Brook if they're going to call it an awful place. That, well, like, th- it, this it'll be awful like without a doctor. <laughs> yeah, but this doesn't seem like the person we want there. Doesn't seem ideal, but whoever, whoever we, any doctor poured in a doctor storm <laughs> or absence of doctor storm. <laughs> I suppose. Doctorless storm. Well, just like that, you got yourself a deal. I'll start prepping my move. I'll tell my job by moving up on a bit, on up to a better gig. Hmm. Overbook doesn't sound too exciting. I might just lie. Say I'm going to a more reputable hospital. Well, see you around. Thanks for the money. <laughs> yeah, I don't. They know like what they like. That person's approach to medicine at all. But that's okay. My motivation doesn't have to be everybody's, and and their motivation doesn't have to be mine. As long as I make the people better, honestly. What if there's something on the roof? I think we've been up there. But what if? Oh no. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I know how to catch myself when I fall. I might not be good at jumping. You are a cat. I, I am pretty good at stalking myself before I land. All right. We've had several successful stops. Uh. Oh yeah, Hoseki. the tomato squeeze thing is here, right? Wait, is it? Is this here? Uh, this is not Oxbury. This is not. This Oxbury's is Oxbury's close district. by, though. We were at Oxbury and we didn't do that one. Nah. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah, those are really, these are just the optional things anyway. Uh, I don't know, sandwich but walk. Here. We could still do them. That's true. Uh, Gray Mist Shrine. Oh, I guess we're up kind of here, too. During nighttime. It's not nighttime. We'll do the other one first then. Uh, sandwich walk. Okay. Yeah, no. We're not at sandwich. We're not at sandwich walk. Sandwich walk. Boat, no. Sandwich Boat. walk. We're, we're not paddling all the way to sandwich walk. We're going to sandwich walk. I'm going to run there. Little boat, you've wait, misunderstood. Wait, no. <laughs> you, can't, you can't run all the way to sandwich I'm gonna walk. Get a red sandwich. It's very far. Get a red to water. sandwich walk. I know you can obble glide or whatever, but it's a long way and your legs will get tired. And then where, where will you be? Not Sandwich Walk. That's for sure. Well, I could stop off at the dragon on the way there. Francis could carry me. That's true, probably. In the big fish bowl. Yeah. Prinny is standing behind me on the back of the couch, headbutting my hair. <laughs> I do like how when we sit kind of in close proximity for a while, the cats just sort of all congregate around to hang. Yeah. It's very cute. Yeah. If we spend the evening on the couch, they end up, like, in various little places they like to snuggle. Yeah, Sitting on us or on just, the arms yeah, just of being the couch nearby. or whatever. Yeah. It's very sweet. Yeah. Mm. Chickens. Chickens, right. your eggs. So many eggs. 21 eggs. And also have some food. Meat, sugarcane, pear, tomato, mulberry, peach. Where are the sunflowers? They're here somewhere. Yes, hi, Prinny. Hello, Prin. Hi. Yeah. Sorry. Um, Startled me. I didn't expect that to happen while I was milking a cow. Dear Stella, Daria has recently requested that you visit at your earliest convenience. Regards, Overbrook's caretaker. Hmm. Wonder who the new oh. caretaker is. I mean, probably that individual we left. Uh, yeah, I guess whoever that's true. they were. I mean. There wasn't anybody else jumping up to take the role. And we're still looking for some of the, the folks to run the place, so... Didn't know you could send, like, pager messages that weren't all caps. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's time to light the final fire of Tondor. Yes! We must... I'm glad we it's here. Climb. It's been ages since we've been here. We must climb. Good grief. <laughs> no, jump, go up. This is not... Uh. It's sort of a new kind of chaotic cat energy. What? <laughs> These added jumps have given us. 
<laughs> no! More chaos than the poor cat can handle. Dadgummit, just do the thing. Which is, I guess, what kind of zoomies are, ultimately. <laughs> I don't know day. why. I'm not quite getting my jumps down right. That's all right. I'll let you do the little I poof think, flash. I think I've done the last couple. Okay, well, I'll do this one. You can do this one. All right. Mm, cool. We've done the thing. Now let's go do the little minigame thing. Yes. Where is it? Uh, it'll be back on the boat. Fine. Take us back on the boat, then. It's a little easier to jump on that one. That's, yeah. Navigation's not quite so difficult. Sublime! At last! The world erupts in elation. All the fires have been lit. Tondor has arisen! The lich god Gornemloth is on the verge of being defeated once more. But, <sighs> what is it? What is this terrible ruckus you hear? A thousand war horns roar at once. Could it be? Faithfully, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Alex! It's Alex! <laughs> the war horns. The war horns! The final assault of the Shadow Steel Clan, led by one eye Omgrothog himself. Clad in the eldritch armor of the Rongmar, <laughs> or of Omgrothog <laughs> points his loathsome blade at you. You won't escape me this time, you miserable maggot. I'll destroy you and the hopes of this world. Trembling in fear and apprehension, you gather your inner strength to face the enemy. Make a courage check! 18! Success! The orc won't scare you, for you are the light bearer, the chosen one! Now the time has come for you to show them what you're made of. Fight! I'm oh. made of meat! And fluff. And fluff. And a bit of cat sass. That's just... A lot of cat sass. How cats go. No! Ah, there. Cats are just good at cat sass. That's true. Glad you figured out we can just run into the ones that aren't right. purple. It that makes this much does simpler. Does save a little bit of of time waiting for our bubbles to rekindle. Yeah. I am not gonna get down to that in time. Dang it. Oop. Yeah. Too far away from everything. Oh, there you go. Oh, finally. <laughs> Except for that one. <laughs> Except for this exact one. <laughs> yes. One. I feel like this is going pretty good. We did it. We're good at games. Buck. 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 Hold still. Buck. Buck. Hey. Buck. Unimaginable. Buck. Through the thick mist of the aftermath, a silhouette is barely discernible against the terrifying backdrop of a gargantuan battle. This feels good with you actually behind your DM screen, buddy. Mm-hmm. Feels right. All free people of the world are holding their breath, hearts pounding in their chests. A deafening silence creeps in on an, an atmosphere thick as rock. Victory! The chosen one has triumphed. She who bears the light has conquered. In a crackling sound of terror, Gor Nemloth's sh shadow stops immediately uh, its course over the darkened sky. Sorry, I got distracted because it's she who bears the light and she who kind of bats around the light sometimes in place. <laughs> <laughs> she who bats the light around. She who bats the light. <laughs> the Lich God's no more. May the Radiant Fae bless our souls. May Haller forever watch over your path. May the graces of Imalda sing our praises for e or our praises for eons to come. The world is saved. And now, jaded but jolly, the hero stands up once more. Looking at the horizon, her heart fills with hope, her resolve stronger than ever. A chapter of her adventures might be completed, but her story's far from over. Rejoice, free people of the world, for the Chosen One will be back. But for now, she will rest her sh heavy shoulders. Like a cat. Like a cat would do. Unload her burden, and once more gaze at the stars. Yay. Hot damn, I'm tired. Congrats! You were amazing! You did it, Stella. Okay, now if you don't mind, I need to take a break. You're I'll take some time to think about what great adventure we could do next. A space opera with lasers and spaceships? A post-apocalyptic road war setting? Or a horrific eldritch adventure with cosmic horrors, maybe? Vampire the Masquerade! <laughs> or that one. We'll see. And Thank you, Mark. said all the others. <laughs> Get a good nap. That's a lot of DMing. 
You just did. You did a great job. Yes. Great DM. Good job. Yeah, DMing's exhausting. Making a fun game. Is it? Yes. <laughs> oh. For me. I think because I, I mean, just... I mean, I don't think you're alone in that. Yeah, I imagine most DMs probably are very tired by the end of it, unless they're super experienced or it just is, super prepared. Yeah, it is definitely having to be, like, so many things to all of your players at once. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of there's Grey Mist, there's Overbrook which both of those are pretty close to each other mm -hmm. uh, if we want to keep going on the caretaking things then um, it's quite a lot to do in Overbrook actually there's a patient there to mm -hmm. talk to and yeah I yeah, still okay. haven't gotten those berries for that berry picker either I can't remember what we need it was like raspberries and strawberries, I want to say, but we should I double think... check that. Uh, Maybe raspberries and blueberries? Yeah, let me, let me pull up that uh, thing again. I know raspberries, we've got... strawberries. Okay. Oh, okay. We need about five more of each. And I think we get both of those from harvesting bushes in town parks. I think you're right. Yep. Yeah, I, I think don't you're right. remember if I can plant strawberries, but I don't think I can plant raspberries. Hmm. Because those are like a, a shrub, and we don't really have a shrub planting area. That's true. Just trees and veggies and grains. Hmm. has settled in behind me and is no longer trying to, like, get me to scratch her face. <laughs> She's circling me, she demanding pets. She knows what will happen eventually. Mm hmm Soon enough. Just a matter of time. <laughs> fish! Fish! Let's see if we catch you a fish. Well, that's not gimme, how... Gimme, that's gimme, not how a cat gimme. catches a fish. That just gimme. won't work. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Just gotta catch the fish first. I got it. You did. You got you a mahi-mahi. <laughs> it's a pretty good fish. Delicious. <laughs> the fishes are delicious. <laughs> that they are. Delicious fishes. Gimme that. Give me that. Ha! Mm -hmm. Lobster. Snacks. Lobsters are like bug snacks. I don't know why I keep on insisting that shellfish are bugs. I mean, they really do seem it. They're the closest I think I've ever come to eating a bug. I'm not. I would. I would try a bug. I mean, like, a bug that is normally served as food. I would try that. Yeah. Like, given there's such a great potential food resource mm -hmm. that just a lot of cultures don't want, mine included. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like but I, I would mean, be obligated to try a bug. Americans went nuts over the the like 17 year locust last year like people in the state my parents live in now mm -hmm. were like doing barbecues that really? were locust themed they were just like candied locusts and barbecued locusts and chocolate huh. covered locusts and like there was seriously like a whole festival for it because they were freaking everywhere well, that's kind of cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> don't like what <laughs> Elena <laughs> I don't like this Okay. <laughs> and you talked we to know. her, and what? That, that was that, was, that it. was it. Yeah. So, like, what? What's the thing when they s are supposed to be talking to us and telling us story things? I, I think if it's How a text bubble, like, if it's just something like "Good morning" or whatever, then it's probably then they just say it in passing, yeah. right? If it's something a little bit more, like, specific or unprompted or whatever, then maybe that's a good time to go and talk to him. Hmm.
All right, I think we're here. All right. But yeah, like lobsters and crabs and all those things seem like when life was deciding to move out of the oceans and get onto land, it feels like those are all the insect types that said, nah, I'm good, <laughs> and stayed. That's my theory. If it's incorrect, no one tell me. I mean, okay, but I'm going to have to look that up later. Okay. I'm going to look up the evolutionary history of crustaceans because I'm now deeply curious. I wonder if it's like whales where they left the sea and came back. That's also a theory that I hope is true because it just seems fun. <laughs> you really are here. I asked for you. I asked the guards. No, the... the guardians? This room felt like a cage. And now I am told that I am free. Free? Uncertain. The freedom might be a trick, I thought. Mm. A sinking of the light. A twisted mirror. Uh, no. You are here. N magic. I am... I... Ah. Thank you for coming. I, I am not as I was when last we met, Stella. You see, I am adrift on an ocean of my own making. And I've come to realize that... That... I cannot produce the words. I shout them over the endless expanse of water where they die down to whispers and insignificant ripples. And, and I believe that you can still hear them. You are the one who listens, who knows how to listen. I can illuminate the ocean's starless nights, the instrument you have gifted me, and uh, you remember my song, don't you? Please go ahead and play it. It shall guide me. I believe you will understand. Uh, I'll give it my best. I think she said go outside and play it. Oh, okay. So we may have to go out here to play it. And... Oh, oh we, interesting. Okay. They weren't here before. They weren't. <laughs> wow. <gasps> when you first climbed up the tower, you saw only a fragile thing deserving of care and empathy. You did not see the steely bonds with which the giant had stilled me, and neither did you see the tumultuous sea underneath, and how it grew angrier and angrier in accordance to the giant's fickle spirits. No, you saw the pain and, and neglected the wound. Neat. I did not expect this, but I like it. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Oh! Okay. It wraps around. Yeah. And I keep falling. Yeah, me too. But for me, that's no surprise. There we go. And ha! Careful. Oop. Pretty <laughs> sure I fell again. <laughs> I'm very good at falling. Uh, if this gets too onerous. I didn't even move! <laughs> I was not inputting anything! Here, I'll follow you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Stop. There we are. Oh wow. Yeah, if I am if this gets too bad, we can uh set my controller to just not <laughs> okay. and follow you. Your call. This yeah. is real rough. They're just small platforms that I seem to be very bad at landing on. Or staying on once I've landed. Oh, you're getting it. All right, gonna be easier from this side. Whoop. I'm good. Good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm not fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Why am I like this? Please make my controller not go. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we'll, we'll do I'm that. Sorry. No, it's okay. No, okay. You almost got up there, so well done. I know I could do it. I just also don't want to. Options, controls. Uh... Rebot, no. Assigned, uh, there we go. There. Okay. I'm sorry. I no, just no. don't want to. Not at all. Slow progress too much with my nonsense. Aha! I see. It's the instrument. It's the crystal beche. Yeah, yeah. You found out. <laughs> you found it, out what it was it in between was not sessions. It was the glass harmonica. 
but it's similar. Which is interesting because the same person who I watched a video about the glass harmonica from that person like months ago, um, Rob Scallon, I think it is. Yes. Uh, also did a video on the Cristal Boucher. Yeah, I added a link to the last episode with oh, it cool. with it on there so folks could see because it is really neat. So what a weird instrument. Yeah, and it turns out that every every white guy with like middling hair colored hair who wears a red shirt looks like Tom Scott to me. <laughs> it is unsurprising then that you were un unready for the giant's last dying spasms for his encounter with demons of his own that would break his will. Unsurprising and understandable was your confusion when the invisible but raging sea swept me away. And where, unmoored and weighted as I was, I sunk to the deepest depths. New floors. Uh, cool. There. Oh, maybe the lights? Oh, it's... Hit the apples? Or hit the... I think it's just sort of a timed thing where they're cycling. It does seem to be timed, yeah. But... I'm absolutely glad yep. that you're dealing with oh, this, wait. not me. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm just thinking you might be able to force it with the... I wonder. Nope. No? Okay. Never mind. Okay. These depths I knew well and had hoped to never visit them again. Within them roamed all manners of vicious beasts, toothed, fanged, and scaled. Hungry always for suffering and pain, for doubts, memories, and minds. Every single morsel. To survive, I thrashed and I flailed. So much so that I managed to shed my bonds, along with strands of myself. And the beasts, as expected, promptly devoured them. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you. I need those. Thank you. I wish I could understand Daria better. Yeah. Like I can grasp little tidbits. Yeah. They're writing just enough to be able to give you, make it feel like I kind of get a little bit but not the whole thing. Yeah. Lightened as I was, I floated back to the surface, far from the beasts. It was there that gentle hands plucked me from a gentler sea. And there, as I was lying surrounded by wispy figures, neither good nor bad, I contemplated an image that had been burned in my empty mind. For through the nests of the beasts, a strange glimmer caught my eye. Remnants and wrecks from past voyages, containing treasures of a past long forgotten. Ooh. I think you're better at my instrument than I am at mine. Mine doesn't do that. Man. Oh, I can be back oh, now. Yes, you can be back. Perfect. And also, I think Elena is here, probably starting fights. Elena? Oh, please, dear. Please don't. Uh, options, controls, assign, we're in. And you're back. I'm in. Have a food. And you should give her a hug if she'll take a hug. Oh, yeah. Because I've tried, but you and haven't, I don't think. Hug. Oh. Squeeze. Mwah. Very cute. A strong grip. A warm heart. All right. And feed her cherries. Good. Apples. I, Apple's her favorite. Good. Well, true, but we fed her last time. I wonder if she wants something. I guess it's been a while. I wonder. What do you think? Oh. I can't. Enough. Something else. Please. Okay, then... Wait, was Apple her favorite? Apple is her favorite, so we did okay. figure that out, and that's nice. Have a cherry. Cherries are good. Fresh, delicate, juicy. Delicious fruit. Thank you. I want an apple. <laughs> it is easy to get hungry playing this game. It is. So. All right, what are you up to down here? Oh, you're not who I thought you were. Hey! What did you do? Seriously? Spit it out. Daria seems to have really responded to you. I've never seen her like that. So vibrant. I don't know what you did, but it did wonders. And another thing. What's going on with Overbrook? I've worked here for ages and it never changes. Odd things have been happening ever since you came around. One minute everything's going to shit. And the power's constantly going in and out. We got rats as big as dogs. It's always raining. Then, poof! Things are turning around. They're still bad, but less bad. You know? It's like, I still can't swim, but I don't have monster-sized rats trying to eat my feet. <laughs> but you know what I think? I think all these changes, they're related to you and that weird-looking vending machine. Don't make that face, I mean it. Listen, I've never used it personally, 
I don't believe in money and the concept of spending said money. <laughs> but whenever yes. you use it, Comrade. weird stuff happens. <laughs> you have an ally in the fluff. I do. More good than weird. Still, it's pretty weird. So I'm thinking, you should just go all out and buy a bunch of stuff from the vending machine. Mm, really let it. yourself loose. Wait. If it magically brings new life to this place, who am I to stand in the way? Also, it might cheer up Daria and everyone else in this depressing hellhole. Mm. I won't keep you. Enjoy your snacks at the vending machine. Fingers crossed for the weird good stuff. <laughs> was this? I don't think all this colorful paint was here before. I don't think it was, no. I like it. This is coming from... This is the vibrancy coming from yeah, Daria. Yeah, it is. So was Jackie the giant who bond, bound her with steel bonds? I, that's my guess. And is that like referencing the way that Jackie used medication to keep her under control? Quite possibly. Yeah. Or just the way Jackie kind of like... Uh, and like Jackie's kept... erratic mood affecting her and everything? Like, yeah, his erratic mood affecting her, his way of managing, I guess, the people who stay here and yeah. and uh, all that. Like, uh, it could be that just without Jackie, like, uh, she is, I mean, yes, a little bit more, like, of a handful and a little bit more of a loose cannon, but she is also able to, like, live happily a She's lot a better. little bit more of a person because she's less drugged into unconsciousness. Yeah. Is what it seems like. That and, is what it sounds like, and, yeah. And, like, that is what in his anger, what Jackie was calling for was just drugging her into yeah. oblivion, basically. But I don't think, like, that's always Jackie's vibe. I don't think so. I don't we're, think that's what he's about all the time. No, we're definitely, we've been seeing Jackie at his worst lately, but, uh... Yeah. I feel like there's more to, ja like, I feel like either there is more to Jackie and we're gonna find out about it, or we're not gonna see Jackie in this game again. Mm. Uh, one way or the other. I don't... That I doubt. Be, I kind of doubt it's that second thing, but yeah, that would uh, be pretty sad. Yeah, who's this other person we need to talk to here? Overbrook, Overbrook patient. patient. Arm so. and leg. Are you? Are you a oh. patient? Are Hello, you? Hello, you. Would it be possible to? Well, if it's not too much to ask, oh. would it be possible to take a small, just a tiny, nothing really? Oh. Would it be possible to take a small bite of you? Uh. Um. Have you been here teaching them to bite things? <laughs> I have not. Daffodil? N no. What? I don't know this individual. <laughs> I've never seen them before in my... Keep it cool, man. You can't just go on <laughs> saying it out like that. you got to be more chill about it. <laughs> I've never seen them before in my life. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm just curious what happens when we say yes. Thank you very much. I can definitely say you taste like chicken. With hints of different spices. Maybe oregano? I do not. It was quite a good bite. Tastes like chicken. Happy to help. I I do not. I am a cat. I don't taste like chick. Take it back. <laughs> Take it. Listen, try another bite. Try <laughs> another bite and tell me I taste like chicken. I think you're being a bad influence on the patients here. <laughs> now, where's my guy? No, nope, not you. Patient, we're going to find you. If they're patient enough. If they're patient. <laughs> yep. Hi there. Hi there. I'm Flo. This is Lo. We're looking for our cat. She's quite old, but she's great. She can't be too far. She's so fluffy. She sleeps a lot. Sometimes she sleeps on my back when I'm reading. It's not super comfortable for me, but she likes it. I love it when my cat does that. Yeah. Well, have you seen a cat besides yours? Have we seen a cat besides ours? N no. I don't think so. That's too bad. I was really hoping someone would have seen her. Well, we shouldn't give up. She's Definitely bound to be here somewhere. Definitely don't give up. She'll be here somewhere. Thanks anyways. I will look too. I want a cat friend. Friend cat. Wait, were they talking about Astrid? Astrid was a cat. Did you mean Astrid? So. <laughs> Astrid's a cat. She's not here anymore, though. No, I don't think you can. And I think if she slept on your back, you would be crushed. I hear that sometimes doctors forget stuff inside your body when they go do surgeries. They once found a watch inside a person's knee. What, you don't believe me? I'm telling you, it's true. My best friend's cousin twice removed told him, and then he told me. That's like three people right there. <laughs> it has to be true. <laughs> Your logic does follow. You, are you the patient? Well, is it? No, okay. I'm the one asking questions here. Hmm. Let's just go to the venting machine. Maybe up? And spend all... Oh yeah, let's try that. There are other levels to this place. And I can't talk to people, but you can. Oh. Gotta keep it moving here. Got some doctoring to do. Oh, it's you. Good. There was somebody in there. They disappeared. 
on an intense day. I got a call in the early hours. They needed my expertise. They said to come in right away. I did. I did. I'm a real doctor. Totally real. They didn't just dial the wrong number and catch me by mistake. No, ma'am. Yep. I'm going to do fine. How hard can this be? This place does have problems. My CPR certification is sure to come in handy here. You got it all. Nice. One second. All right, all right. Boom. Nope. Did you think it was going to stand up? Actually, I was feeling pretty good sitting down. Darn. Now I don't know. Should I stand up and get tired? Should I sit down and get tired? Either way, I'll be tired. I just need to figure out what kind of tired I want to be. You should get up, get up, and get down. <laughs> Try both. Yeah. Like this. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> Gotta get up and get down. Yeah. <laughs> Cat dance. Cat dance. That's as close as I can get to dancing. Yeah. What can I say? For all the good animations we have, we don't have a dance one. Not really, no. All right, let's see. This costs two radiant springs, which we have. This. Oh, we need a lot of radiant springs for a lot of this. Where do we get radiant springs from? I don't know. That's something for you to find out, I then. I guess so. We can afford this, though. Health Hooray! nuts. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay. It did something. Eh? Huh? Right? Did something? Right? Did something. Huh. I don't know if those flowers were there before. What? Flowers? Where? On the second floor. Oh, hey! That might be new. I think that is. Nothing that nice was ever here before. Yeah. Isn't there a ladder that goes upstairs? I think there is, yeah. Just on that other... There you go, you found it. Okay. Let me up. There we go. Let me out. <laughs> Help. Oh, good. Where on... Whoa. <laughs> you fell out of the world. And then back into it. Welcome back. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> you boundary broke. I'm a speedrunner. You've done a speedrun. Look run. at my strats. <laughs> I know all the tech. Good cat speedrunning. Why, thank you. How do you like them flowers? Ooh. This place is falling apart. We need to do something. Oh, while well, we're working on it. We did. Flowers, flowers. though, see? They're load-bearing, so it's falling apart less. Exactly. I'll go back to my boat. Well, no, let's check what radiant springs are and how to get them, and also how to get the cat out of the... <laughs> out, of the out of the tower. <laughs> Help. Help. Oh, dear. Help. Where are you? Help. I don't know. Help me. Cat, you're stuck in the silo. Don't <laughs> me out. Please. Kitty. Oh, there you are. You're up there. Let me out. Down here. Get, get, get kitty. Out. Here's the door. I want to get out. Here's the... I want to get out. You may have out. gone too far. What? Wait. Nope. You're there. You're on the right floor. Let me out. Let there, me out. There you are. Good. Good I job. Let's get back terrifying. toward the boat. And we'll call it an episode. We'll look up what those darn springs are and how to get them. Yes. So that next week we can get more springs. Yes. And more... More health... Not health food, but more... Snacks. Yes. Vending machine snacks. And do more chores for our boat folks. Yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. And we'll see you next time for some more Spirit Fair. Take care and goodbye. Goodbye.